Hey YouTube, welcome back to Tinkro Tools. Tonight we are going to be revisiting a tool that we reviewed roughly two months ago. That is the rigid high torque hammer drill. When we initially had that video, we tested it with the four and the six amp hour max output batteries. But after seeing the video, Rigid decided they wanted to send over their eight amp hour max output EXP battery so that we could do some testing with that. So let's go ahead and get into it and why this battery is well suited for this drill here on Tinker with Tools. All right, so first things first, as I mentioned, Rigid did go ahead and send this battery over to me for testing. I really appreciate it. Thank you for sending that over. But the video I'm making is still going to be my own personal opinions, and we're gonna show the results of the testing we do. So thank you, Rigid, for sending it over, and I appreciate the support of the channel. All right, so before we dive into the specifics about the tool or testing of the tool, I do think it's necessary for us to have a simple discussion about batteries. Now, I am by no means an expert in this subject. I'm gonna try and convey this knowledge as I understand it. So if I do misspeak about something, apologies in advance, there are gonna be some good resources in the links down below where you can go get more information about this. One of those is going to be from Stuart over at toolguide.com. He has a really good article that I'm gonna have linked down below. In a very basic sense, this battery, this two amp hour, has five unique cells in it that are wired together. That allows this battery to provide 18 volts of power to this tool. If I'm to doing a very simple task, it doesn't put a lot of strain on the battery. But as the task gets harder, those five cells have to work harder to perform that task. And that's where you begin to see potentially a voltage drop. When the output voltage of the battery drops, that's when you start to see a decrease in performance on the tool and you can even see the tool stall. Now, when we move up to a battery like this four amp hour max output battery, this now has 10 cells inside that is providing 18 volts of power to the tool. So they are gonna be providing the same power to the tool, but when you start doing a demanding task, this battery is able to spread it out over 10 different cells versus only five in the two amp hour battery. You're putting less stress on the battery when you have more cells to divide a load over so the battery can maintain its voltage that it's trying to easier in a battery with more cells. So now what is the difference with the 8 amp hour battery? Well you may have heard the terms 18650 cell or 21700 cell before but an 18650 cell is smaller in size than what the size of the 21700 cell is. So as you can see this battery is physically wider and bigger than his four amp hour counterpart, even though both of these have 10 cells internally. Now the characteristics of those 21700 cell battery, they're going to be able to provide the power more efficiently, potentially for longer durations. And so what you're going to see is an increase in performance in theory when you move to a 21700 cell battery. Now we've tested other batteries of this type before, and in my initial testing, we are seeing a performance increase on this eight amp hour battery, just like Rigid said when they sent me the email telling me they wanted to send me the battery over. <laughs> it's not that it's providing more voltage to the tool, but as you get into a more demanding task, it's able to sustain that voltage better thus keeping the tool at its optimal performance range longer in a more demanding task. All right, so with all that battery speak out of the way, if you have more questions about batteries, I do encourage you to check out the links below because they do explain it in a little more depth and there's people that have more expertise in this than I do, but I think it's necessary for us to understand those basics before we move on. Now this drill was added recently to the rigid lineup where previously their hammer drill had 800 inch pounds of torque this one comes in with 1,250 inch pounds. That number puts it squarely in line with a lot of the other premium drills on the market, even besting that some of them on paper. So what I wanna see tonight is one, what is the performance difference between the six amp hour battery and the eight amp hour battery. We may even do a test with the two amp hour battery so you can kind of see the difference between that. And so we're gonna see, is there a performance difference like in theory we should see when we put these different batteries on this drill? The next type is we're gonna be testing it against some of the drills that you requested. My goal here is not to necessarily have an apples to apples comparison, meaning we're gonna have all the tools on eight amp hour batteries. That's not gonna happen. Unfortunately, I don't have an eight amp hour battery for all these tools, but the drills I've picked all have a premium style battery that we are gonna be using that should allow us to see this. Now tonight, we are just going to be testing 18 volt tools. And the goal is simply to illustrate how the performance of Rigid compares to the other premium drills in the market where it's going to see the benefit from this eight amp hour pack the most. And so we're gonna try and illustrate that tonight. 
All right, so for the first test, we are gonna be running the four rigid batteries. We're gonna be doing a five inch Spax lag screw. So we're gonna be doing the two amp hour, the four amp hour, the six amp hour, and the eight amp hour. All right, so now we are gonna step up to a second task using these. We're gonna go up to a six inch timber lock. In my experience, these timber lock screws take a little bit more to drive than these SPAC. And so now we are going to move on from just the rigid uh, comparison and we are going to move on to testing it against what I'll call premium drills. So we are going to be testing with the Gen 4 Milwaukee. Previously we did these tests with the Gen 3. Milwaukee makes it 8 amp hour battery. I didn't have the time to go and get it for this test. So we are testing on the 21700 cell 6 amp hour pack. And then we're going to be testing the latest uh, hammer drill from Bosch. We're going to be testing that on a 8 amp hour 21700 cell battery too. And then our last entry is going to be from DeWalt. This is their six amp hour flex volt battery. And this is going to be a pack that has three rows of cells in it. So instead of 10, like these other packs and having 21,700 cells, this actually has 15 of the 18,650 in them. Now, unlike some of our other testing videos, we're not starting with smaller fasteners. We are going right to some of the bigger fasteners that we have, and we're just gonna be doing two driving tests today. The first one is going to be an eight inch timber lock, and then we do actually have a three eighths by eight inch Spax. All right, let's move up to the big fastener now. Okay. Okay, cut out down there. Okay, so the DeWalt did cut out. Let's put it down in speed two. Bosch makes the claim of the world's strongest hammer drill, uh, not so much in their US marketing, but in other territories. It obviously showed that it does have a, a grunt of soft torque there getting the job done. All right, so now let's move on to the drilling test. Uh, we're gonna be drilling into two by material. We're just doing a couple of different tests. The first one is we're gonna be doing an inch and a quarter uh, spider spade bit. All of these are gonna be in drill mode, in speed two. None of these tools struggle with an inch and a quarter bit. We're now gonna step it up to an inch and five eighths Irwin speed bore bit. All right, so now they all powered through on that. Unfortunately, we are out of room to do our next bit on this board. So we're gonna switch to a piece of uh, pressure treated two by eight or two by 10, but we're gonna go ahead and run the two and nine sixteenths bit on each of these and just kind of see if we can separate some of them there. We're gonna drop down to speed one. All right, Milwaukee's also cutting out. possible that I do need to replace the cutting blades on this bit. Let's go ahead and do the Bosch and the DeWalt though. The Bosch ejected the bit, so it kind of let go there at the end. It is the only one that made it through so far in speed two. Let's try speed two. Let's 
So let's go ahead and get cleaned up. We'll get back over to the table. We'll draw some conclusions about the rigid and talk about the battery performance and if I think it's worth it. All right, so there you have the testing. Now, when it comes to the rigid, once again, I have not seen these results, but I can tell you just from how the tool feels when you're using it, when you step up in battery, you are going to notice a different in performance on more demanding tasks. If all you're doing is driving a two inch screw at these, each one of these batteries is gonna do the job and you're probably not going to feel much of a difference on it. But if you're driving a six inch lag or drilling with one of those bigger bits, you are going to notice a difference in performance. You really do notice a difference and it was capable of doing more with those tests. So do you need it? Not necessarily, but if you're going to be doing the more demanding task, pairing the right battery with the right tool is going to make a difference. Now, as we take the rigid batteries out of the mix, and now we're talking about how the rigid compares to these other premium hammer drills. I would dare say that it performed well enough that you're gonna be hard pressed to find a difference in using the tools. Now, in just looking how it compared to these three drills, these are three expensive premium hammer drills. I'm not saying that the rigid is necessarily cheap. It is quite reasonably priced. Now that eight amp hour battery does go for $200 as well. But when you look at the value proposition compared to some of these other tools, it starts to make a little more sense. Right now, if you were to go out and buy these two drills at Home Depot, the rigid is going to retail for 149 bare tool. The Milwaukee is going to red, is going to go for 199 bare tool. When you can have similar style performance for $50 less, there is benefit there. Now, Rigid also offers the lifetime service agreement. That is something that you can say about Rigid tools is that you are going to have the lifetime service agreement on both the tools and the batteries, which does give you some peace of mind when you're investing premium dollars into a tool. Now, was it the absolute strongest drill here tonight? No, I don't think it necessarily was. There was test when I thought the DeWalt performed the best, the Milwaukee performed well. The Bosch probably featured to be the strongest drill out there tonight but you're getting premium performance with this rigid and it certainly bumps up its performance on that eight amp hour battery. And I think that is the takeaway from tonight. All right, so there you have it. That is this. That is going to be our second review of the rigid high torque hammer drill. And obviously our first review of this eight amp hour EXP battery. Make sure you choose the right battery for the tool you're doing for the task you're doing. Not all batteries are gonna be well suited with every tool to do really demanding tasks. And so make sure you're pairing that correctly. If you like what you saw tonight, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have questions about either this drill or the battery or any of the other tools you saw today, go ahead and leave those in the comments down below. If there's something you'd like to see this get tested that we didn't showcase tonight, make sure to leave it. I have noted some of the other things that you wanted to see this drill go up against and we'll be sure to get those out in future videos. And then if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel so you can see the future content that I've got planned for it and further testing with this drill. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Tinker with Tools.